What's up? So, I'm about to change your life. So if you've never heard of this, you wouldn't be the first person. I literally came across it like a few days ago. I was able to get early access to it because I'm a student. And by the way, there's a link in the description. If you're a student as well, you can also get early access to this because early access goes to all students for free immediately. But don't worry if you're not a student because you can also get access to it. You just have to wait about a week. So all you gotta do is just hit that link in the description and then you can join the uh, beta or wait list for it. And you can get the beta version um, today if you're a student and maybe in like a few days if you're not a student. This browser is called the Arc browser and essentially what it does is well nothing I can't really explain it to you because it's not really like any browser that you've seen before so let's just kind of get into the design of it and how to use it so here you can see I got my canvas up with uh, all the things that I need to do um, and what's cool is this is a chromium based browser which means I can install any chrome extensions that I want um, which is pretty important for me that's why I kind of stray away from Safari even though I like the interface I can't really install those extensions that I want, um, and this actually goes a level further, but we'll talk about that later. And so this is just gonna be an overall view, um, not in depth really, but we'll take a look at my tabs. So you'll see that I have these tab groups up here, and these are gonna be my favorite tabs. Now what's cool about these is they're always open. So if I click on YouTube, it's gonna go to whatever video I was watching last. I can close here to my mail, and it's gonna have all my mail. And if I actually hover over the mail tab, it'll show me my unread mail, which is actually a really, really cool feature. Um, and then if I go to my calendar, you can sign in and see your upcoming events as well. Now, if we go down, these are gonna be my favorited tabs right here. So these favorited tabs, I can click, and these also remain open. And these are really cool because you can keep these right here like all the time. You have no chance of closing them because they're all favorited. You have to actually go here and click this, oops. You have to go here and click this X to actually delete the tab. Um, and what's cool is even if you did technically delete it, you can click this X and it archives the tabs, which is what it does to all your tabs. And it's kind of like a history, but all your archive tabs actually stay there. So let's say you're filling out a form, you can actually go back and all your form information is still there, which is kind of nice, especially if you accidentally close out of something that was pretty important. Um, so we have all of this right here, and then we can go here to create a new tab, or my favorite, you can hit Command T, and it's gonna pop up this little window right here. Now this is really cool because you can search anything you want right here. So they have calendar, whatever. Or if you're doing a Google search, like how many pyramids are in Egypt, for example, it's just gonna pop up right here with a Google search page, which is kind of normal. Um, but what's really cool about it is it has this feature called easels and notes. Now easels and notes are really cool because they're stored within Arc, which is the browser. And so I can hit that command space again and I can type in new easel and you'll see it'll open up this page right here. Now this is my easel and what's cool is I can literally drag text, I can draw on this, I can move this text around however I want and this could be cool for a lot of use cases. I personally have used this for um, one of the slides I'm working on for school and you can see I have all of the slides right here and formatted really nicely as well as some website information with what those tabs are. And I think that that's really cool. I can grab the information right here and I can go back to how many periods are on Egypt. And let's say I wanna start making a essay about this. So we can do a new tab and then we'll just create a new easel, all right? And then what we do is we take the pyramids and the new easel right here and you can just drag that easel to the left of it or to the right of it, or even to the bottom of it. There's kind of a cool view I don't often see. And you can start researching like uh, Egyptian pyramids. Right, and so I'm gonna make a slide, so I'm just gonna title this like pyramids. I can literally click on this image, right, and go to the actual image. You can copy the image right here, and for my reference art, I just paste it in here. And there you go, you get the image of the pyramids right there, um, which is super cool. And then I can do arrows, I can draw, I can link websites. So let's say I wanna link the website I got this from, which is, I guess, Wikipedia. You could take this and just uh, hit the copy button right here and then paste it in here and then you can pop that over here and you're starting just to kind of see how the board will look and like 
and you'll see if I'm just in this page and I want to get back to my easel page, I can actually go to the right right here and you'll see these new buttons and I can hit add and this will create the new, peer, the new pages. And let's say I do forget what it's called. I can actually go here and swipe to my left and swipe to my left one more time. And I can go to easels and notes and I can see pyramids right here. So I found it and this is kind of a preview window. So you see how it's kind of small, but I can open this up in school, which is my tab. And there it is. My pyramids are right there. I can view my easel. And so that's kind of how navigating with tabs works, but that is just the start of it essentially. I mean, you also have options like notes. The new notes are really, really cool. This is kind of the same thing as an easel, except this is just for text. So you can't really do like dragging around images and stuff like that or websites, which is kind of unfortunate, but you can just do an easel if you want that. So notes are kind of cool for that reason. Next, we can get into the spaces. Now, this is one of my favorite parts about Arc is that let's say I have this filled up with a ton of tabs. So like, Six. So I have all of these tabs here and I'm kind of overwhelmed at how many tabs I have, like there's too much going on and I want to work on a new project. So essentially what I can do, you see how it says life right here. I actually swipe over and I have a new tab group or page that I can go into. So this one has all of its own. My favorites stay there, but what's not going to stay there is these favorited tabs right here. So these will stay at top, but these favorites won't. Let's say for this one, I want to work on another project and I just Google like how to build a car. Right, and it's like right here, how to build a car, all of this stuff right here. And then I can go back and create new notes and stuff like that. But let's say I wanna create an entirely new space for a new project. So I'm gonna hit this add button right here and I can go and hit a new space. So here's the space designer. And what's cool about this is you see how I did a new theme for the whole computer. So let's say this one is car build where I'm trying to mod my car. So car build right there. And I can actually add emoji here. So I'm gonna add a car image and what's cool is like this background, I can even customize that. So I'm gonna go in here and then hit theme and I can change the, whatever's in the background. I can change if it's like grainy, which is kind of a cool thing I've never seen before. I can change how transparent it is. And there's a lot of new things you can add that you can have three different colors going like completely your custom design. Once I swipe back, it's gonna be a different theme and I swipe back, it's a different theme, swipe back, it's a different theme. So that part is really, really cool. And I can have a bunch of new tabs in here, new tab groups, switch over. And let's say once I'm finished with the project, I don't want this anymore. I literally just hit delete space and it's gone. Space is gone. Um, and then I can um, undo that too with command Z, which is cool if in case I like accidentally delete it. Now that is basically most of the main features. Another really cool one just to shout out is the screen clipping feature. So what this does is you'll see it actually takes certain parts of the image so I can screenshot this and save it. I can put it on an e easel. I can put it in my most recent easel um, and you'll see it highlights only certain sections of it. It's not going to highlight the entire website, which I think is a really cool feature. Like you don't really see this anywhere. Let's say the sections are kind of off. You can hold it and drag it and there you go. You screenshot that you can save it. You can send it in a text message. Um, a lot of cool things or I can send it to someone specific. Um, so, or I can edit it straight in here and do like different things, block out some time. Just like a lot of really cool small features that you don't really realize you're missing with most modern web browsers. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for Arc. I'm gonna do a more in-depth tutorial and I know that felt pretty in-depth right now, but trust me, there's a lot of new features um, coming to this since it's still in beta and I haven't run into any encounters. This has become my main browser and I'm kind of waiting for a Notion integration with that Notes tab, which would be like so good for my work because I always do everything in Notion, um, which would be super nice. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, next video that I talk about this, I'm going to be talking about notes. And yeah, so this browser literally changed my life. I know it's kind of dirty to say, but all right, I'll see you.